a very good morning to everyone and welcome to today's scripture reflection let us begin with a short prayer in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen thank you lord jesus for bringing us here today thank you for always being there for us and guiding us throughout our way thank you jesus praise you jesus Praise God everyone a scripture reading for today is from Matthew chapter 5 verse 20 to 26 For I tell you that unless your righteousness surpasses that of the Pharisees and the teachers of the law you will certainly not enter the kingdom of heaven You have heard that it was said to the people long ago do not murder and anyone who murders will be subject to judgment but i tell you that anyone who is angry with his brother will be subject to judgment again anyone who says to his brother raka is answerable to the sahedrin but anyone who says you fool will be in danger of the fire of hell therefore if you are offering your gift at the altar and there remember that your brother has something against you leave your gift there in in front of the altar first go and be reconciled to your brother then come and offer your gift settle matters quickly with your adversary who is taking you to court do it while you are still with him on the way or he may hand you over to the judge and the judge may hand you over to the officer and you may be thrown into prison i tell you the truth you will not get out until you have paid the last penny the word of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ in today's gospel we see that it is taken at the sermon on the mount the first line itself tells us for i tell you that unless your righteousness surpasses that of the pharisees and the teachers of the law you will certainly not enter the kingdom of heaven your jesus tells us that god has given us certain laws and the pharisees tried to change it and then they have made it into man made laws which god doesn't agree Jesus tells us that God has created laws and God has established laws. Jesus didn't come to establish laws, but he came to fulfill the laws established by God. And so here the hypothesis says, "Ye dil mange more." And so Jesus does. God had told him to do, but Jesus does more than what god expected him to do and so we too must also do more than what god expects us to do here we see that jesus is not telling that the pharisees are false he's just telling that the pharisees are inadequate their teachings are incomplete because they do not do what they preach and so jesus tells us that committing a murder that is by getting angry is also a murder that is an emotional act murder by keep on bottling our anger into our heart creates an emotional murder in our lives and so we must not get angry but if you go to see your is there anyone in this room including myself who doesn't get angry yes every one of us get angry at some point or the other but we must not bottle up we must go and forgive that person that is what jesus is telling us to do today jesus also tells us that the pharisees think that by getting angry nothing happens but this by getting angry only all the consequences occur because when we get angry we have bad thoughts our bad thoughts leads to bad words 
our bad words leads to bad actions and then those actions cannot be changed therefore jesus tells us that we must also not call anyone raka raka means empty headed buddhu nowadays we commonly call to buddhu hai for anyone but we must not do it raka is original is from the word spit which means we spit at someone so we must not use the word raka for anyone because it is really bad and so your jesus also tells us that calling someone useless is very dangerous according to the pharisees it will be like kisi ka qatl nahi kiya na to prabhu tujh pe gussa nahi karega but according to jesus calling someone useless is also as equal to a murder and so therefore jesus tells us that now we already said the word to buddhu or we call someone bad now what can be done so that is why the consequence has occurred but what can be do for the subsequent so jesus tells us that we must leave our gifts in front of the altar and go and reconcile to our brother your jesus wants us to go and forgive jesus doesn't want us to sit in church and pray the whole day jesus wants us to go and forgive our brother or sister jesus also tells us that Uh, after a fight with our parents or siblings or friends we should not come to mass we should not go to mass and then after a fight we must instead go and forgive the person and change our heart if we are not willing to change our heart there's no point in coming to church and changing our soul so that is why jesus tells us that we must always forgive it may be hard to forgive the people at times but we can always put the person from a hit list to a prayer list by praying for these people we can then tell god for the for him we can ask god to help us love that person instead of directly asking for forgiveness because when we love that person we will automatically forgive that person and so let us now gently close our eyes and ask jesus for the gift of love and forgiveness dear jesus for all those times we have been angry to anyone around us let us help to love them we will today put them in our prayer list and then gradually forgive them in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen